this kind of tutorial, I want to show you how you can make a parametric tower, which is basically the Canton Tower in Grasshopper. And as you can see here, you can see the Canton Tower, how it looks like, and some pictures. So what we want to do is to model something similar to this. And if we scroll down, you can see that here we have a process uh, of the structure. As you can see here, we have those ellipses rotation and then making the structure. So what we want to do is to make this from uh, scratch in Grasshopper as you can see here. Okay, before we start the tutorial, if you're new to Grasshopper and to this channel, you can watch this tutorial up here, which is what is Grasshopper and why you should learn it, and also a beginner tutorial to enter the grasshopper world. And for those who want to know more about grasshopper or watch advanced tutorials, we will have we also have a course which you can watch up here. I will put some lessons and you can check it out. Okay, let's start from scratch and what we want to do, you can also download this example file from our website. I'm going to put it in the description. Let's go and start from scratch and I'm going to go to the curve section primitive and use the ellipse to produce the sections of the tower. So if you want to produce the ellipses, I'm going to use this one. Basically those orange components you can see here are in planes and it's really easy to use. So let's just put the ellipse on the canvas and I'm going to put the bifocals plug in here. And this is the XY plane, the default plane of this ellipse. Okay, the radius 1 and radius 2 is really obvious. It's the dimension, and you can see the radius in the x direction and the y direction. If we want to produce different uh, ellipses in different heights, what we can do is to put a point and connect this to the plane. If you connect a point to a plane, what happens is that we've uh, explained about this before. If you connect a point to a plane, it uh, assumes that it's an xy plane. But if you want to exit xz plane or x, a Y plane, you have to give a plane in the middle. So let's just put a set multiple point here, zero. I'm um, using the control key to come up and another control key to come up here. And here we have three points, okay? And if you have the gumball on, we can move these points up so we can change the height of the tower. The next thing is to define the radius one and two for these uh, sections. I'm going to go to the params menu and use this gene pool to change the radiuses. So if we put it here, we can double click and define how many number sliders we have, we want. We can just put this to three because we have uh, three different ellipses. So here we have this three, maybe we want to change this, change this from two to 25. And let's just put this and copy this so we have this for radius one and radius two okay so this is going to change the ellipse on the ground this is going to change this on the second height you can see that we can change that and we can also change this on the height right so what we want to do is to take a look at this uh, explanation here and you can see that the twisting of the top of the tower has a little bit of inclination so if I go to the top, you can also see this in the image. I guess it was somewhere here, which you can see that it's a little bit tilted. Here it goes. So what we want to do is to make something similar to this. It's not going to be an advanced tutorial, so we produce the sections of the tower. We just want to make the structure, something similar to that. Okay, so let's just rotate these ellipses on their plane. I want to rotate that. Instead of rotating after the ellipses, we want to rotate this before we give this to the plane. So this is the smart way you can rotate those planes. And I'm going to rotate the plane, give the point to the plane and the plane to the plane. What happens is that I'm making an XY plane and again I'm giving it to the ellipse. So now we have to right click and define the degrees. So again, what we can do is to define uh, three different rotations for the ellipses from zero, maybe to 90 degrees. 
and you can see that we can rotate these ellipses on the z direction because this is in the xy plane so you can see that we can rotate that and it's going to rotate the ellipses okay and if we want to make this a little bit tilted we can rotate these planes uh assume that this is the plane right and we have this vector and rotate this on the x direction so it's going to tilt this a little bit so what we want to do is to do another rotation this time i'm going to use the rotate 3d rotate the plane the center of rotation is going to be the center we just picked the axis is going to be the x and the angle is going to be degrees so again we can just connect this one and you can see that this is basically giving this a tilt you can also make this minus if you want to rotate that on the another direction so let's just put this like this one and now we can control these sections and connect them together to make the surface of the tower so let's just go to the surface and connect this loft and we want to make this a little bit higher this at the center let's just make the second ellipse a little bit smaller uh, let's just give this a little bit of rotation i guess the first one is zero and you can see that we can produce a twisting thing here you can also increase that to maybe 170 okay if you want to increase the rotation so now it's just a matter of changing these parameters to produce the results okay at the next and the last part we have to produce uh, structure from this uh, the best way you can do this is to use the launchbox plugin so again you have to you can download this from our website i'm going to put it in the description and you can download the example also there so we have the link to the launch box you can also download this from food for rhino for free and you can see that we have a structure section which let's just go to the pictures here and i want to show you one of those pictures that's really obvious how the structure is formed and here we go you can see that this is the main lines we have these sections and then we have these sections right what we want to do is to use the best and the quickest way in grasshopper basically this is not the best solution this is the quickest way you can produce the structure uh, if you want to make this in real world you have to do more or additional calculations so what we want to do is to use this braced grid 1d structure so we can just simply connect this to the surface Let's just turn this off give this a number of division for u and v so you can see that this is increasing the numbers in the height and this is increasing the number here so we can change that okay always when you produce a structure or a panel on a closed surface bake the surface and watch out for the seam okay this seam is a problem for most of the panels especially this is not a problem but for those like uh maybe a diagrid structure if we connect this here you can see that sometimes we have a problem if i change the number here the v division i guess is the problem here we go you can see that this is not producing a complete uh diagrid we have to give this an even number so remember you have to always uh, keep an eye on the seam of the structure or the surface you are producing that structure on okay so now we have those primary lines brace lines and we have to just define the uh, vertical structure so let's just go to the surface use this pipe and if i connect that to the primary lines you can see it's going to produce pipes for all of the structures what we need here is these lines so we're going to use a trick here what we have to do if you don't know about this you have to watch the tutorial up here which is about dispatch we have talked about this in one of our, our tutorials we can do a trick and that is to find uh, assume that we have two kind of lines here this one and this one 
The difference between these two set of lines is that this one doesn't really change in the z direction, right? The z height of the start, uh, start point and the end point is not really changing, but this one is having high changes of the z. So we're going to go to the curve section and we're going to take this end points, give it to here, we will have the start and the end. Going to the vector, we will have to extract or deconstruct those points. I'm going to deconstruct the start and the end. And we're going to compare the z's by just going to the math and having a subtraction. This one from this one, or maybe we have to uh, subtract the end from the start, I guess. Okay, here we go. You can see that sometimes we have a zero. Sometimes we have big numbers and sometimes we have a small number. So what we want to do is to uh, go to the math and say those who are smaller than, okay, maybe 1.2, because you, see, you can see that the most of them are bigger than one. And then there's going to be some of them are going to be true and some are going to be false. And if you have watched the tutorial for this patch, you can see that we have a dispatch. We can dispatch those lines which we want to dispatch in the list section. And the logic is going to be here. I have also a complete tutorial in the course. So if you want to know more, you can go to the logic section. We have four or five tutorials on the logics if you want to know more. Okay, so let's just connect this to the curve. You can see that here we have those. And you can see that some of them at the end are not computing here so we have to increase this number so we have all of those pipes uh, there is another solution for this compare that to the vectors of these those things but for this is the most easiest way you can use to just dispatch them in the list a and list b and here we go you can see if i just turn everything off we have the complete structure which we can make changes to the overall tower of this canton tower just tilt the head again you can see that this is giving us problems so we have to change this number to find the best solution here we go and at the end uh, we can bake this in one layer layer one and give this pipe to the list a maybe decrease the radius to something smaller and bake this in layer two and also give this to the braces and bake this in layer three and we can also bake the surface of the loft in layer four if we want and i guess that we have to make this a little bit smaller so let's just make an offset And connect that to the offset surface and check this out here we can see that we're going outwards so that was okay we're making this smaller okay so you can also have that to present your work let's just close this and here we go you can see that we have produced this tower easily but you have to tweak some of those parameters you have to work on the overall shape of the tower but you can see it's something similar to this and thanks for watching uh, subscribe to our channel like this video comment below and see you next time